known as the Wild West in southern Idaho, lies the Idaho State Penitentiary. Constructed in 1870 and opening its door in 1872, the prison housed approximately 13,000 inmates, where 110 of them have perished behind these prison walls. The state of Idaho was seeing a rise in crimes, and the penitentiary needed to expand for the unruly inmates. Therefore, in 1926, the solitary confinement structure built by the inmates was called Siberia. In 1957, an inmate named Raymond Snow, who was convicted of murdering a woman, was the only inmate hanging in a death row located inside the maximum security building. But in 1971 and 1973, two separate riots broke out resulting in three inmates being stabbed multiple times from handmade knives and prisoners burning the chapel and dining hall to the ground and damaging many other buildings along the prison grounds. Tonight, PM Paranormal will spend the entire night inside these prison walls to communicate with the spirits of the deceased inmates that still call this place home. So since the executions of these six men, we've had a lot of guests report uncomfortable feelings inside this ground. We've had guests report choking sensations, headaches, and of course, bad feelings. We've also had a lot of interesting photography that's happened over the site. Most notably behind me, there's been a lot of pictures which capture six floating orbs. Uh, the debatability of orbs as evidence for ghost hunters, of course, is uh, something that's a little controversial. However, six orbs is significant for its number and nothing else. We've had guests report that on very quiet nights, you can hear Fred Bond still saying his last words, telling the guests, the witnesses gathered there, that he trusts God and he's not afraid to die. On um, very cold nights, they say you can hear Noah Arnold shaking on the gallows, waiting for that battle. Yeah, I'm JC Green, I'm the Visitor Services Coordinator here at the site. And one story I have to tell is from a summer evening, locking up the site at 5 o'clock p.m. I was coming up these stairs here in maximum security, shut this back door, the drop room door, which is uh, underneath the gallows in this building. I was coming through here, and when we close up at night again, we shut this back door come up these stairs and unlike you know so many times before i was coming up these stairs and the atmosphere around me felt super occupied almost like people were running past me up and down the stairs like i wasn't alone on the stairs so i kept coming up the stairs and i also heard voices up here in the second floor area thinking that they were guests that i was going to have to you know, explaining that we were closing and to make their way out the front exit or the front entrance. Got up here, and there was actually no one up here on the second floor. And so, a combination of strong feeling of things surrounding me on the stairs, along with uh, voices heard upstairs here in the area where Death Row and the Gallows are. All right, so we're in Siberia. Siberia is solitary confinement. Siberia followed several other versions of punishment and solitary confinement from the wooden bug house out in the yard to the dungeon and the Black Maria, a dark cell in the 1890 cell house. The cooler, which is just around the corner from us. Siberia was then a actual solitary confinement complex built out here in 1926. Siberia was a nickname that it derived super quickly after being built, as it was at the end of the world. It was cold, it was dark, it was at the back, the back corner of the site, and when you're put in here, it was like you were being uh, you were being sent far away. Usually, you were in here except for a weekly shower. They would bring you out if you were on your best behavior for a shower once a week, and then stick you back in here. You have your Door shut at most all times, except for when they were bringing you food and water, usually, you know, bread and water or a neutral loaf, the day's leftovers sort of mixed together and put into something candy. They'd pass that to you here and then otherwise they keep it shut. There was one guy who was in here for 18 months. Uh, his name was Earl Bowen. He was actually here after killing another man that was incarcerated here. Ernesto Blanco was here on a lewd and lascivious uh, behavior with a minor charge. So, you know, definitely had a target on his back. And that's a really, you know, complicated story of whether guilt, you know, was, should have been placed on him. But 
nonetheless, Earl Bowen decided, you know, that he didn't like Ernesto Blanco and took him out one day. And so while they figured out what to do with him, they stuck him in Siberia and ended up being here for a year and a half, 18 months, whereas the standard sort of usual punishment for being in Siberia was about 30 days. When Earl Bowen was released, he was a shell of his former self and he actually committed suicide shortly after he, uh, he was released. Today we are at the Idaho State Penitentiary and we'll be investigating the prison. Tonight we'll be checking out the 1890 new cell house where the Douglas Man Black suicide happened in that building. And we will be checking out the rehouse where the it made an explosive on the fourth level of the cell house and it created a big explosion in the building. We will then go check out two house and then we will check out fourth house and then we're going to check out fifth house which is the world renowned Raymond Stone was locked up and then he was on death row and then he was executed the gallows in that building and from there we will be checking out 96 Siberia which is known as solitary confinement. I hope you guys are ready to be My name is Michael. Oh shit! It was the front door. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, it is. Uh, no, I heard it creak, but I was uh, hoping it wouldn't slide all the way. Oh my god. Was... That scared the shit out of me. Alright guys, we are now at the Siberia, which is known as solitary confinement. We're gonna come in here and see what we can capture. Let's go. Spirits, my name is Michael. If there's anyone in here, can you communicate with me? Let us know that you're here. So what I have here is an EMF detector, which is tech electric magnetic field energy to surround the environment. If we see a spike in a milligauss, um, it's gonna spike up and I'm gonna record my phone. So we can be able to detect any energies that spirits may be able to show in this environment. So, so far right now we're only at 0 0.1 milligauss at 52.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Nothing too crazy. If there's any spirits in here, can you come touch my hand? My name is Michael. Can you tell me what your name is? We're still at 0 0.1 milligauss. You come touch this device I'm holding and let me know that you're here. We're at point two. Point one. Eight point one eight three point six. Was that you? Thirteen point two two point eight. Is someone in this cell? Can you knock on the cell? Let me know that you're here. I'm not moving my hand. Is there, now it's gone. 
I'm not even moving my hand. I'm just sitting still in front of this cell hole. 0.1, we're at 52.6. Thank you for showing me that you're here. Can you come back and make your presence known again? We're just at a steady 0.1. 53. Wow, that was a really high spike. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm staying here still right now. I'm not even moving. I didn't even move once. There's no power in this building right here. So there should no should there should be no power, no explanation for this high spike. Wow, that was that was crazy. 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Wow, that was that was crazy. I'm, I'm feeling chills right now, just seeing that right now. This it's 16.3, 0 0.8. Is there someone in here? 10.1. So we we're going to go to the Rose Garden where the original and all the original hangings and executions took place and I'm going to take you guys with us. Let's go. Right now I am using the SP7 spirit box that uses radio frequency sweeps to generate white noise that gives entities the energy to be heard. Were you a prisoner here at the prison? Tell me a name who was executed here on the Rose Garden. How long were you a prisoner here for? We just captured a spirit answering only one through our spirit box. Here's a replay with enhanced audio. Alright guys, we are now heading to cell house 2. Let's go check it out. Can you communicate with me? Let us know that you're here. I come here with the utmost respect. I'm not here to hurt anyone. Want to be able to communicate with you guys. If you guys give me a sign, knock on a cell. Just capture an orb of light in jail cell. Here's the replay of the footage. Is 
to show that your presence is known. Just then, we just capture an unexplained noise in the jail cell. Here's a replay of the footage. Hello, spirits. My name is Michael. I hear that rain is snow was set us to death row right here. If you can hear my voice, you come and make your presence known? Is there any spirits here? If there are. What year did you arrive at the Idaho State Penitentiary? I heard that you didn't have your final words, that you weren't able to speak your final words in the gallows. What were those, what were those final words? I'm sure you guys heard it, I just heard something. 
After spending the night investigating the Idaho State Penitentiary, the ghosts of the old prisoners did not hold back in communicating with the living. Oh shit! 3.6? Was that you? 13.2? 2.8? Is someone in this cell? Thank you for tuning in to our investigation at the Idaho State Penitentiary. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Links to all the social medias will be in the description. And we'll see you on the next one.